All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at a point where we are now going to do the greatest amount of detail. The closer something is, the greater the detail. Now, this, this tree, this tree right here, comes out of a portion of the woods right about here. And we're going to put it coming out. We're not going to have it coming down to the ground because that's going to be poor design. We're going to let the tree trunk come out from about here and it's going to be open and airy. And we're going to do that. <clears throat> and then from there, we're going to tweak the light area and the shadow. We are almost done with our painting. We got all the real estate covered yesterday and now we're going back and we're tweaking what needs to be tweaked as far as lighter lights, darker darks, warmer colors here, cooler colors there. What that I want to do before I do this, I'm going to show you the, the, the interesting, I find it really interesting that when we did this yesterday, this was really, really light. I mean, when we were looking at that yesterday, that was about as light as we could get it. Now, a couple of things have happened. Number one, the paint has started to dry. It's gotten to a stage where the paint is setting up. It, to use a term from concrete, you know, working with concrete. The paint is beginning to set up. There are textures here that are now set up enough where I can go dry brush over the top of this and take advantage of that texture. And I can also take advantage of getting a lighter, more vibrant color where I can go lighter against that dark now. This is going to be real light. That's going to be real dark. It already is real dark. And to create visual interest, I'm going to push the envelope on contrast of light against dark. And also, I'm going to be utilizing the texture here to push the envelope on greater detail in the front where there's less detail further away. To, and that is all as an effort to create visual interest. So I'm going to be tying this sort of with this to try to get a little bit of a harmony there. I'm going to start with a very, very light color. I'm going to put some raw sienna with that color and I'm going to take a touch of, of the turquoise. Very light touch. Now I'm going to take some raw sienna. We're going to look at this photograph and we see that we have some very light, warm greens up here. So I've got this color now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some raw sienna and a little touch of turquoise and a little touch of this red. The turquoise cools this down slightly. My brush is overloaded now, so I can't get the effect that I want. So I take the excess off my brush. Now I'm going to load my brush with that little darker, little cooler color. And now... Very lightly. I may take a little touch more of turquoise. And... Yeah, yeah, it, about the number two, but I'm not going to get real dark on the shadow. So I'm going to take a little more raw sienna now, maybe a touch of burnt sienna and turquoise. Just get a little bit dark. I don't want this to be too stark. Just a few of these darks, a little bit darker. I'm going to come up in the photograph. It comes up a little bit higher. Right there. I'm going to go with that slightly darker color now. Now I'm going to go to the lights. Warm that up just a little bit more.
Brush is too loaded. Take the excess off. Now load my brush where I'm in control of the color. I can change that color just a little bit by putting a little more orange in it if I wish. And I can bring some of that color down into the trees just slightly. That's about all I need. Light, open, airy. Okay? Now, I'm going to have you do that. I want you to do this light area here and then do the open and airy lacy tree. And that means no pressure on your brush. Do not try to do it with an overloaded brush. Mix your color. And after you've mixed your color, if your brush is too loaded to control it, wipe the excess off and then take a manageable amount of paint and put it on there. As I stepped back away from my painting, I saw that I needed to be a little bit more dark just in a couple places on this, this tree here. So I'm going to make a little bit of a slightly darker color just in a few places. But I want to keep it open and airy. Just a few darker darks and a little on the cool side. So I'm going to do a couple of things now with this little demonstration. I'm going to do a couple of things. Just a little bit darker dark on, on this tree. I've here. mixed up my tree trunk color. I've started with a real dark. Three fingers. And when I picked up the paint, I picked it up and I rotated my brush a little bit. So I actually have a little bit of a knife edge on my, my brush. So now I'm going to go in and starting at the top, I'm going to put some of these limbs in here. Little branches or limbs. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lighten this stuff up a little bit here, lighten this uh, tree trunk color up a little bit. And I'm going to wipe off the excess so I'm in control. And and I'm going to put some tree trunks up here. How does this look? Well, there's, there's, you know, you don't want to have your tree, your brush, too charged with color, so that you're not able to control it. Start at the outer extremity and work in. Here's a, here's a dead branch. There's a dead branch because. Nature is kind and cruel to its members. And I'm going to let that tree come out from this part right here. Now, how am I going to get that to stand out? Well, I'm going to, I've, I've, I'm going to do the, the darker values of tree trunk first. I'm going to do the darker values of my little limbs and twigs. I'm going to do some of those darker values first. And then I'm going to go down to. Some lighter ones. OK. Now there might be some tree trunks that I want to be aware of over here. Out on the extremities of this tree here. I can put some. Suggestions of twigs or, or branches. I might even want to put a little something that's showing that there was a tree here that died that breaks this line right here.
nature has been kind and cruel to that guy. All right? So now, I've got just the dark and the suggestions of trunks and limbs and branches. So now I want to show that light is going to get through to illuminate some of this. Grab some orange and the light color here, and some of this tree trunk color. I'm going to lighten it up some. So I've got a gray. This is going to be a nice place to show where some light is getting through and illuminating that tree trunk. That's a good start. You mainly want to get some lights against darks and some darks against lights. Now we're not going to have much light getting through to illuminate this guy here, but we can still show where some light got through and is illuminating a little part of that tree trunk right there. Light came through, touched there, and touched here. All right? Might be a real dark sense of a, of a tree trunk here. I'm going to show the light coming through and hitting there. I want to get some a little lighter on some of the tree trunks back in here showing a little bit breaking up some of these darks with tree trunkness that's back in the distance. Not real strong, but showing some contrast against the dark background. And I'll do a little bit of it right here. I'm seeing this tree trunk right here coming in. I'll go back to a dark here. And this is where I might even use a little bit of a cadmium red to try to raise the value in such a way where I can see that tree trunk against that dark background. What remains to be done is showing a little bit of light hitting this tree trunk here. And we'll put a little bit of light right up in here. Now, one of the things that I want you to be aware of is I've used strokes going like this, but you don't want to leave that on these larger portions. You want to go in on the larger portions and put some horizontals or diagonal strokes to break up some of that long stroke that follows the contour of the, the uh, branch. So here, I'm going to come down here and put, break that up a little bit with some horizontal or diagonal strokes, which helps with, um, where did I do that? Right there. We'll lighten that up just a little bit. Okay. Now, I kind of messed that up a little bit, so i got to readdress this a little bit. But I'm trying to get that tree trunk to stick out just slightly. So, if... If we have to, we'll go back and revisit this guy just to try to get him connected, but the coffee is doing its work. Now, here's, here's where we can use that mall stick. We can take the mall stick like this, put it on the edge, and I can come up here and put little branches that have been broke off without getting my hand into the wet paint. All right? So there we have it. Now, do thou likewise.